barista was playing R. Kelly the whole day. Well, I tried to explain that to him. No, listen to this. He said some 15-year-olds are really mature. Fuck, boy. Well, I don't care if their coffee's pure fucking gold. We can never go there again. No, I've got the time out thing. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, nothing. I'll see you at four, yeah? Thanks. Fuck. Sorry, I kicked my shoe under the door. Would you mind passing it back? Of course. No shoes. Women's toilet's all clogged. Sorry? This is the men's room. Are you serious? Let me guess, there was a massive queue in the ladies and you didn't feel like waiting. Here you go. No, I really thought this was the women's... I was in a rush, I just ran in here to change. You ran in here to change? What are you, Superman or something? No, I have an interview. Nice, what for? Time out. You're a journalist. Are you sure you're not Superman? It's a job in the art department. Very cool. You're an illustrator? Graphic designer. Well, if it doesn't work out with this, my cousin just started an app and he's always looking for new designers. I could introduce you. You on Twitter? I'll DM you his deeds. Cool. I'm at Suck My Helvetica. Cute. Oh, yeah. Kind of a big deal. I like your accent. What do you mean? You from down under? No. Really? Your accent sounds Australian. Nope. Good. They're all fucking cants down there anyway. Where did you grow up? Bath. No way, my brother coaches the rugby club there. Time out, huh? I read an article a few weeks ago about how we need to create safe spaces and music venues. Did you read that? People that go to a rock show, they go for the danger, you know? That, that's how it used to be. Rock shows should be dangerous. Everyone's so muted now, I don't understand it. Embrace the chaos, you know? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah, that's why I'm in here, obviously. Well, don't let me stop you. You can just turn on the taps if you're embarrassed. The other cubicles are out of order. You can use the urinal. I'll just stay in here till you're done. There are no urinals. It's okay. I'll just wait. Anyway, I'm kind of curious to see what you look like now. <laughs> Is this how you pick up guys, or are you just a straight-up sex offender? Pardon? Just... I mean, <laughs> you're hiding out in the wrong bathroom. Seems like something a sex offender would do. Yeah, well, don't turn me in. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm joking. I'm not a sex offender either. Good to know. I'm Jeff. Okay. I was serious about my cousin. He really is looking for designers right now. Either, unfortunately, I'm... For his app. Actually, how long is your interview? I don't know. Do you like... want to go to a party? Champagne, bunch of rich hips of twats. My cousin will be there, so I'll introduce you. He's loaded, so the job probably pays really well. <laughs> Fucking hell! What happened? Oh, nothing! Drop your phone in the loo. I was joking about the sex offender thing. Honestly. If you put the phone in the bag of rice, then Look, can we not talk? What are you, one of these super sensitive chicks with a hair trigger temper? What does that mean? 
You're one of these angry feminists who gets mad about shit and goes home and writes about it on the internet because God forbid you have an actual conversation. And you're one of these guys who calls himself a feminist to pick up birds. Men are all wankers, got it. You're gonna tell me to check my privilege next. I'm so tired of this. Fight fire with fire, right? Long live the matriarchy. Don't talk to me, please. Jesus Christ, you're in the fucking men's room? I'm not in the men's room. What? There are no urinals. I'm not stupid. Are you fucking insane? No, I'm not, actually, and you're making me really uncomfortable. Jesus, I was just talking to you. I didn't ask you to talk to me. Right, I see. I'm the pervert who followed you in here. What the fuck? What was your name again? Jeff. And your brother's the coach for the Bath Rugby team, right? What are you getting at? Look, I don't want to do this, but I've got your picture now, so just let me leave. I'm not keeping you here. Come on out. Listen, let's just talk for a minute. I'm done talking to you. I'm posting that you're stalking women in bathrooms. I've done nothing wrong here. You're harassing me. Me, you're the fucking psycho. You can't take my picture like that. You're violating my privacy. It's not right. If you let me go, I'll delete it. How do I know you'll actually delete it? Listen to me, you little fucking prick. You're going to do exactly what I say, or I'm going to make sure that your name ends up on a sex offenders list. All right. Now turn around. And put your nose right up into the corner. I was just talking to you. Do it. Done it. You're not going to look at me when I leave. And when I've come out, you stay like that for two minutes, count them out. After that, you can leave and I'll delete the picture. I can't see you, where are you? In the corner, just like you said. Don't look at me in the mirrors. Don't try to follow me. 